So today we got a little bit of an update that nerfed attack V pretty heavily. Uh, and there was a bunch of other weapon balancing changes. I was able to test a lot of these out on stream. So if you were there, you kind of already have a heads up. Kind of a little bit around my camera. We got the Chimera, which received a buff. I went and checked that. It did receive some changes. The FR Avancer, the Lockman, the M16, FTAC Recon, Lockman 762, SO14, TAC V, as well as the Fennec. So all of these received nerfs and buffs across the board. And I checked to see if they actually changed them because a lot of people were concerned that this wouldn't go through until the update for the for the live event. So we went through and did that. And what I've done is highlighted in yellow what specifically changed in terms of damage. So this is the original damage profile up at the top. When we go ahead and look at that compared to the tested values, this received the nerf to the close range, the close mid, far, neck multiplier, upper torso, lower torso, and limb. So pretty much everywhere the TAC V received a nerf. Uh, so it went from 59 damage down to 52, 36, uh, 42 down to 36, and 37 down to 32. And the reality is like, what does this even mean? It takes it from about seven and a half, eight shot to kill uh, up to about eight to nine shot to kill. So that slows down the TTK in the first damage range in the middle damage range, which is probably where you're going to get a majority of the kills. Like we talked about in a previous video, it's adding about a half shot to kill. So in some instances where before it was going to be about an eight, rarely an eight, but mostly a nine shot to kill. Now it's mostly a nine shot to kill, but sometimes a 10 shot to kill if you get too many limb shots in the mix. And then the further range, which is 45 plus, obviously it gets pushed out with the barrel or a suppressor or something like that. Uh, this ends up being from a nine shot to kill up to around a 10, sometimes an 11 shot to kill. So this should be a pretty noticeable difference. I think most people probably default to the Cronin just because that was kind of the meta beforehand, even though that one's been nerfed. But like we talked about in our previous video, if it wasn't touched here, it really didn't change. So you can still utilize all those. So whether it's the broken Lockman 762 as a gimmick gun, or you want to use the Rap H, HCR, cast off 762, there are a ton of good options to roll with. Uh, if we go ahead and go a little bit lower, you can see the FR Avancer. If we go ahead and check that one out, we'll go ahead and plug that in. And you can see where this change, it kind of like a nothing burger in terms of changes. It went from 36 damage to the head up close to down to 35 and then 22 on the limb from 23 you can see this middle damage profile did get adjusted where it got like two damage all the way across but the average ttk is about one shot different so in the middle this fr advancer should perform a little bit better in terms of the close and medium and not a huge difference um noticeable but if you already liked it then you're probably going to like it even more it's kind of one of those and then we got the lockman 556 which again this one's almost nothing going on here we go from 33 headshot, it got bumped up to 35, which you can see this number right here, this 11.87, which is almost 12 shots, down to 11.78 near non-existent change. I'm not even sure why they changed it because it's kind of like was whatever. I don't think it was enough to really do anything, but I am liking the, the variety of changes. Uh, we also had the 762 that also received a uh, buff to the limb damage. And you can see this one, they bumped it up from 50 damage to the limb um, up to 52. Again, these are negligible differences and this only applies to the semi-auto. Full auto didn't receive any changes. Uh, when we look at that one in comparison, we tested that one and there was no changes. So pretty straightforward there the fennec this one's one where it was kind of a slumped on the the ttk especially in the close end they ended up lowering the shots to kill from about 14 down to 13 which brings the ttk closer to 660 which kind of makes it in a competitive range not meta that's okay it's not meta but it's way more viable especially if you get throwing knives in the mix so another good option SO14 did receive a few different buffs uh, across the board, uh, but I think mostly the changes aren't too big a deal. Maybe it just leads to a little bit more reliability uh, in terms of getting faster TTKs. But overall, the average was like a nine shot TTK up uh, range, eight to nine. Now it's closer to almost always an eight. Uh, it just got to get, you know, how, how it balances out because the chest shot does do more damage from 36 up to 40. The Chimera does receive a little bit of buff. I think it fits really in the sniper support. Uh, if we go ahead and look at those differences, uh, we can see kind of where it was changed. And you can see that the Chimera, a very good solid option at a 10 shot to kill, which brings it up to 675, which is right next to Fennec. A little bit slower, but this one has a range up to 24 meters for the first damage drop off, which is huge. So this one has a little bit more versatility in the form of sniper support. 
uh, especially since it has a versatility of an SMG. FTAC Recon, I don't even understand why they changed this one, uh, but the FTAC Recon also received a buff, but only in its first damage range, uh, which... It's like, why are you using it? I mean, 15 round mag, not really worth using. And the M16 has different values at burst and semi, and it's really hard. So I'll just wait till sim.gg updates that one to give you accurate on that one. But I wouldn't imagine this is really going to impact it because the long range TTKs are going to be untouched, essentially. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. See you on the next one. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.